so there's one more thing I wanted to talk about in this class period, which I'll talk about just for five minutes. Um, there's this there's this new kind of a newer way people are looking at data when they say that they have um, uncertain um, they have uncertain data, and this is this has probably always been the case with data, but it's more it's more common to think about it this way now. So it could be that you have this data set P and you have a set of points P, but for each, and it's called this PI, for each PI you think that this exists, but it comes from some distribution U of. Right? So this could be representing a person, and you've you've measured something about this person, like you say, you're measuring the GPS location of the person, but the person is moving around, they're not always in one location where the GPS measurements are, are, are noisy. So you have some distribution describing this individual person, but you think all the people are in the data set. So then you want to build some sort of, um, some sort of model on P, but you actually need to factor in this distribution. Now this distribution could actually, so you know, this could be, say, a Gaussian. If you, sometimes if you're working like with uh, like things with sensors like in robotics or measuring the ocean floor, you know there's some air tolerance in the measuring device, and you can use and model that here. Other times, you, you have that this point has actually been measured some number of times, and so you have this, um, um, this, this set of these measurements you've made. So if you have GPS locations of a person, you may have 10 different GPS locations where they've been in the last hour. And this is your data set. So instead of a set of people, you have a set of a set of measurements. So you have a set of sets. And then you want to build a model on this, treating each of these as one location. Um, and so this just becomes, becomes a lot more complicated really quickly. But it's, I think it's important that just the way when you had a model, when you're trying to model this data directly, you're trying to fit something um, even though there was noise there. Fit something despite the noise. Here you're saying, here often the goal is you have some uncertainty in your data. You want to demonstrate what is the uncertainty in, your, in the output of your data. Right? So you could get this model and you could sample from these distributions and get some distribution of your models. Right, so if the model is again is a mean, there's a simple way to estimate the distribution of the means again. What you can do is you create, you, um, you have this process um, where j equals one to some some t, and what you do is um, for um, for i equals one to to n all your points, you generate a qi from from this distribution UI. So it could have been picking one of these locations at random. Um, and then what this gives you is some data set QI, which is drawn from, from P um, and the set of, of these distributions of the points. And then you can create um, your model I um, of QI in a very similar way to how you did bootstrapping. And you get output in this, this model, and you've done this t times, so you're going to get this set um, of up to MT of these, these models. And so then again, you can make this distribution of these different models, and you can show that if you do, if you set T something to be about 1 over epsilon squared, then you can show you can approximate this distribution over what the value is, depending on your data, um, up, to, um, up to some epsilon resolution. And there's some technical details I'll specify this that I want to go into. So this is similar. So all of this, but it's, I, I just want, the reason I'm introducing this is I want to point out some clarification, some, some difference between bootstrapping in particular and in general all this cross-validation stuff is that this was assuming that every point came from the same distribution. 
all of the analysis that went in here for bootstrapping and for um, you know, and also for this uh, cross validation, it was all assumed that the, there was one discretion describing all your data, and each each data point was an independent draw from it. This is instead saying each data point I know it exists, and I know that there are these n distinct data points that I have, but I don't know the true value of those, and I have maybe some draws from this distribution, or I have a model of these individual points. And so you can do a lot of similar analysis that you did with, you could have done with bootstrapping, um, but this is looking at the, the, the error and the individual points instead of in kind of how many data points you have from some full distribution. And so there's been, uh, there's been a lot of work coming, um, partially some in machine learning, some in databases, some in um, and kind of geometry, people looking at these sorts of problems now and trying to analyze them. But um, there's still a lot of people don't understand how to do with this. Um, okay, so great. So so then next week, Monday, we'll talk more specifically about outliers. And I think I'll, we'll, depending on how that goes, I may talk about um, robust estimators as well. Then after that, we'll move on to graphs. And so if you're, if you're interested in this big data graphs and, and social media and stuff, uh, there's that talk tomorrow at 12.15 on the third floor of, of the WB building that I recommend you.